Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is Mr. Foreman back with another exciting tutorial. Today, we're going to design a head sculpture. Okay, so we're going to basically color it. We're going to possibly give it a wig and, you know, a few hairstyles and all that whatnot. We're going to do both male and female. So let's start with the male one. Okay, that one's a bit more easier and quicker. And I'm going to turn off my canvas. Okay, and I'm going to go to the 3D library. And I'm going to type in male head, all right? And I'm going to preferably use a bald one. So that way I can do whatever I want to it, all right? So once I click it and bring it in, first thing I want to do, I want to take my paint bucket tool and I want to color the entire sculpture. Here's why. Because if you make any adjustments before you do this, everything that you do will literally be deleted. And it's plain just common sense. I mean... If you want to sit there and color the whole entire sculpture with a uh, paintbrush, be my guess. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click my sculpture with the paint bucket. All right, and now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video and uh, just watch the magic happen. Oh, I forgot one thing, guys. Um, you're going to need to understand how to color your head sculpture. And you could do that by going to the brushes, right? And the brushes will open up this menu over here where you'll have the marker, the, the um, calligraph um, pen, the oil brush, the watercolor um, brush, also the pixel pen, and the spray can, which will also come in handy later. But I highly recommend that you use the marker. It's a much more thicker um, um, material. Um, once you have it selected, you can go ahead and increase the thickness or decrease it, depending on what you're coloring. So for the eyebrows, you can make it super thin if you like, all right? Um, once you have choose the thickness, you can come down here and choose the color, and then you can be, begin coloring. All right, let's fast forward this video. It's not a game, it's a rich thing. All right, so now that we got the eyebrows and the eyeballs done, now we're gonna start with the tape line, give this guy some hair. So we're gonna use the same tool like the marker. And then um, we're gonna start coloring. Now, I'm probably going to use the spray can tool. Remember, I told you guys about that. So I'm just gonna go around here and just start this. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn back on the um, speed of this video. Okay, so next thing I want to do, I want to probably get this guy a tape line. So here's a little um, cheap trick to actually get a few things done. If you go to 2D shapes, it'll give you some shapes. And you can actually shape up the tape a bit. And it'll actually give you some pretty decent looking um, results. So let me see. If I do it like this and put the square up. But if I were to squish the square a bit, move it around, it give me a nice little tape line. Right? And then I'm going to hit the check sign. Now, in order to complete my tape line, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add probably another square. So all I'm going to do is add a square to it. His tape is a okay. 
kind of sort of decent, but that's fine. What I really wanted to show you guys is actually how to do the hair. So um, we can always clean that up. So there's no need to worry about it. His tape is a bit messed up, but it's fine. I know I wouldn't want to have a tape like that. All right, so let's move on to actually doing hair. Okay, so one thing I want you guys to look at is the 3D shapes. And in the 3D shapes, you will see 3D noodles or doodles, not noodles, doodles. All right, and if you click that, it should give you this menu. And if you look down, you'll have the thickness and you'll have the taper. Now, for hair, you probably want to go with this one. And then you might want to exit 3D mode, and all you have to do is click the button. Okay. And um, how it works, it kind of depends on you. So since he is an African-American character, his hair is much more curlier. So it's easy to kind of go with it. So I'm going to give him like a dread ponytail. You just click and hold it. So what you want to do is duplicate it, kind of duplicate it. And you do that by simply holding control, pressing C. Well, select the item first, hold control, hit C, and then hold control, and press B. It should allow you to duplicate. So now I'm going to move on to the beard. You can do the same exact thing. The easiest way to do that is through the shapes. I will use a triangle. So let's try um, maybe a, yeah, just a regular triangle. Put a mid beard right there. Hit that. And then you get super creative. I can use this for the mustache. And then this little cool tool right here helps multiply what you just did. All you got to do is hit it, and it'll multiply. And then you just hit this flip tool, and it'll just flip it for you. All right, these are the cool things that you could do in this, in this program. It's, it's pretty dope. All right, so um, there is actually a cool way to add a beard. You could go back to 3D shapes. And instead of using, um, you could go to 3D doodles, and instead of using this one, you can use this soft edge one, which is pretty cool too. So you want to get out of 3D view so that way everything is accurate. And then um, what you do is you click and hold. All right, if you're not satisfied with it, you could also redo it, which that's what I'm going to do. All right, so let me fast forward the video. There, folks, is how you make a face sculpture and designing a face sculpture and um, painting one and adding hair. All right, thanks for watching.